Hi, it's April, and we get the question all the time, how do we prepare the bed to grow a garden for vegetables, grow a garden for perennials, for annuals, any type of garden? So what we did is we assembled the tools you need to start your own garden. It's quite simply a long-handled spade, so you don't hurt your back, you don't have to bend over as much. I've got a garden rake for raking the nutrients together. Then I've got a purple cow organic fertilizer. It's a great new fertilizer we're going to try. It's very um, soft and light. It doesn't smell and um, I'm kind of excited to see what happens with that. We've used, uh, we're going to be using topsoil. It's a high grade of topsoil. It's got some sand in it. And then I've got peat moss. And a formula to keep in mind when you're going to start a new garden is to have about 70% of what you add in your mix to be the topsoil. About 20% of your mix should be peat moss. And the reason we're using peat moss is it's going to loosen the soil and it's going to acidify the soil. And uh, that acidifying of the soil is what works really well with most perennials, um, wave petunias, and like tomatoes and peppers and vegetables like such. One of the first things I want to show you when you're going to start the garden is I want you to, if you have grass that needs to be turned over, I simply want you to dig the grass and flip it over. The grass is actually fertilizer. We don't need to remove the grass. It creates a lot of extra work where if we chop it up, that green becomes green for our nutrient source. This is working up pretty good because we've done this before on this plot. If you've got good soil, you could back down the amount of soil that you have to add. If your soil is clay-like because you have new construction or your house was recently built last 30 years, don't worry about taking the clay out. What would be better is if you dilute the clay with a mix like the 70, 20, 10 percent. I'm just going to do a small spot for informational purposes only just so you get an idea how simple it can be. Typically, if I'm going to do a garden, let's say it's uh, 10 by, or tw let's use 12 by 8, I'd probably use like seven bags of topsoil, one bag of uh, peat moss, and maybe one of the compost. Now this purple cow, you can go to purplecow.com to get the specifics on how to use purple cow. But purple cow, you don't have to put really 10%. 10% formula is more for like mushroom compost. Where purple cow, you can just use like a handful for, for a plant and see what you get there. So we make the soil irregular, kind of like a farmer would be plowing the field. And we're just tilling the grass in. It doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be irregular. Because when we're making this, we are creating air for the roots to root in. All these plants are the same. They like air. It helps them start to grow if you have air. So as you see, the bed is getting irregular. I got a little grass showing. Not a problem. It's green. It's turning into fertilizer. And when I demonstrate how I'm going to rake this all together, realize that I have extra peat moss. And again, I'm just showing you how I can fix the garden really easy. Now ideally that peat moss should be smaller, so it's more like 20%, but for the instruction, it really doesn't matter, because it doesn't have to be that fancy. It's not a, a real finesse technique. 
We even get it down to how we open the bag so we don't have to bend over that much. You throw the bag down like this, cut the side, and it's spread it out. And because I only need 20% peat moss, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chunk half the bag. That's where these knives come in here. So I just did that. Now again, I told you about Purple Cow, this new compost. If I'm going to broadcast it 10%, I'm just going to go like this. There's my Purple Cow. If I have just a few plants, I'm going to just take a handful. So you got your choice. So what you kind of see here is my turnover, turn it over, get it irregular, lay the topsoil down, 70% topsoil, plus or minus, 20% peat moss, and 10% compost. Now I take my garden rake, it's really simple, it's like I'm mixing it all in one. You know, if you pull out some grass or dandelions, that's fine. But notice I didn't remove any of the any of the clay, if there was clay. I'm going to dilute it, because every year that I add peat moss and that formula, I'm making my soil better and better. Whatever you put into it, you're going to get out of it. I hope this helps you, because right now, like this plot could take a couple tomato plants and it's ready to go. It's going to fly. See you in spring.